Galatians chapter 1 verse 6 and read I marveled that you are so removed from him that called you into grace of Christ unto another gospel which is not another but there be some that trouble you and will pervert the gospel of Christ but though we or any angel from heaven preach another gospel unto you that which is which we have preached unto you let him be accursed as we said before so I say again if any man preach any other gospel unto you than that ye have received let him be accursed my subject today is glory to God ten reasons why we are blind by cult among us ten reasons why we are blind by cult among us Paul say let them be a curse ten reasons why we are blind by cult among us Father God bless his message right now bless somebody that's in a cult they're in a church but they're in a cult oh God they're not in Christ but in a cult bless them to see bless them, bless them to believe this message can pull them out in Jesus name I pray amen ten reasons why you are blind by the cult among us and number one we we don't see how the scripture we don't see we don't know the scripture the Bible when I say we don't know the scripture the Bible that's how you want to know this occult number two we are too selfish and miss salvation what we are too selfish we too much into self and we're gonna miss salvation number three we don't see the sign of a false church among us we don't have the Holy Spirit of discernment or know them by their fruit number four we 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 can't see seduction or deception in the midst Yes, we don't say it. Number five, we salute, meaning we cheering mess, and we don't know it's messy. Number six, we don't know Satan ways and tricks we have for Christians. Christians, yes, we don't see Satan ways and tricks go to God as Christian. Number seven, we are we are singing song while we are sinning against God. In teaching, we allow, hallelujah, without question. If you can't question your teacher, my friend, it's time for you to leave this church, which is a cult. What if you can if you can ask your pastor a question, it's time for you to leave this cult. Because it's a, it's it, it, hallelujah, it is not a church, but it's a cult. Number eight. What? Number eight, my friend, we are serving, hallelujah, a place that does not believe in hell and does not, hallelujah, hallelujah, go to God. Let me say number eight slowly. We are serving a place that does not believe in hell. And number nine, it does not teach or preach on sin. It's too obvious. We are human. We can't be perfect. That's what they tell us. My friend, but the Bible says, my friend, he go, listen to the Bible say, we don't practice sin. But the seed remain in us. We does not sin. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You know it's time for to tell the truth. You tell the truth. You know it's time for you not to have fornication. Don't have fornication. You can you can do it through the help of God. Hallelujah. Number ten reason is too much silent and green light into our sinful behavior. We attend churches that does not prick or convict or give us conscience, but we are too conservative towards sin to salvation. But we have to, to stay the same with no changes according to 2 Corinthians 5, 7. I know it's too much. But let me say it again. 
because ten reasons why we are blind by a cult among us. Number ten is too we t is too much silent and green light into into our sinful behavior. We are tending a cult, supposed to be a church, that does not prick or convict or give us a conscience. We are too conservative towards sin, to salvation, but we have to stay the same with no changes according to 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. And the Bible says, Glory to God, if any man being Christ is a new creature, old things are passed away, all things become new. It's time where we can't be blind by the cult 